Ladies and gentlemen, here's the field for the sixth choice. Number one is Battle Chew Prophet and Mark Aubin. Number two is Dwayne's Gamble and Dale Heitman. Number three is Cam Brand and B. Farber Erdman. Number four, Decipher and Walter Paisley. Number five is Beep Beep RK and Ronnie Marsh. Number six, Super Modified Randy Jacobs. Number seven, Riotous Living Carl Porcelli Jr. And number eight is Rick Almerhurst. Dave McGee will drive. That's the field. Eight minutes. Perfect is that. Any window. Trifecta away train. And here they come. They're all fan pacing. There goes Battle Shoe Prophet on the inside, going right for the lead. Dwayne's Gamble and Decipher. It's those three into the first turn with Battle Shoe Prophet. Your leader now by two and a quarter lengths. Dwayne's Gamble. His second two lengths. Decipher and third by two lengths. It's Cam Brand. Followed on the first turn by Beep Beep Parquet. Super modified riotous living in Rick Almerhurst. As they settle for the quarter, it's Battle Shoe Prophet now a length and three quarters. It's Dwayne's Gamble in second and Decipher. They're by the first quarter, 28 and three, and Battle Shoe Prophet maintains the lead as Dwayne's Gamble is right there in second. It's Decipher in third, followed on the outside. Beep Beep Parquet looking for cover. He flushes out Decipher. Entering the stretch, approaching the half. It's Battle Shoe Prophet now Decipher. is third, moving to second on the outside. On the inside of horses, it's the Wayne's Gamble. Beep Beep Parquet. It's Camberand and Super Modified. They're halfway home. 59 and 1. Now they drive into the clubhouse turn. Battle Shoe Prophet maintains a lead. Three parts of a length. Now a length. It's Decipher on the outside. Dwayne's Gamble. He's saving ground in third. Beep, beep, parquet. On the inside, it's Cam Brand. Followed now by Super Modified. It's Riotous Living in Rick Almerhurst. Now they curve into the back stretch. And Battle Shoe Prophet has a neck lead. On the outside, it's Decipher. Here comes Beep, beep parquet. Ronnie Marsh going to the whip three wide. They're driving by the three quarter middle mark. It's Decipher now to take command, but BP Parquet is moving right with him, followed now by Battle Shoe Prophet in third. Now they're in the final eighth of a mile. It's Decipher and BP Parquet. Here they come, turning for home. Decipher is under urging. Here comes BP Parquet. It's BP Parquet on the outside now to take command. It's BP Parquet. Decipher, but it's BP Parquet. Decipher close for third. Battle Shoe Prophet. Results of the sixth race are official. Time for the mile 158, three fats. Returning to the winner's circle, number five, BP Parquet. BP Parquet is owned by Ken Hoopick and Bob's Whitest of Sandwich, Illinois. Trained by Gary Hot Taylor. Driven to victory by Ronnie Boom Boom Marsh. The sixth race was the Crescent Ort Purse and the Cast Trucking Limited, 83. The 5-4 Perfecta returns $33.60, 3360. Here is good tonight, Robin. Thanks. Yeah. Hello again, racing fans. This is Tony Salvar with us, Maywood Park Alert. We're online in the paddock. We're going to talk with driver Ronnie Marsh. Well, Ronnie, we're going to focus on this last winner you had, number five, BP Parquet. As the field approaches the quarter mile mark, are you sitting just where you want to be? Yeah, I'd like to have been a little closer, but I knew, I, I thought I was it would be able to get a little cover. A uh, horse come out in front of me and kind of drag me up there, and, and it worked out that way. 
All right, now, around this turn now, we're going to see at any moment, you have an opportunity to go a little faster and yet uh, go up to the winner, or rather the leader at the time, but you did flush out uh, Walt Paisley with a four horse. Yeah, well, this horse of mine, he's been racing real well, but he's not the kind of horse that, want, that you want to come first over with, meaning, you know, without a horse in front of him. If you can give him a little cover like this, he's, he, he's a lot better off. All right, now you're sitting here going to a half. Now, the half uh, is going a little bit slow, but are you uh, relaxed on the outside? Yeah, my horse is fine. I, I drove the horse on the front end, uh, I think, a week before, and he has a tendency to get a little tired, usually on the end of a mile, of any kind of mile, no matter what kind of half you are. So I really wasn't too worried at this point. All right, now you're going into the back stretch. The horse that has the lead is a good front runner, as everyone knows. But you see Walter Paisley driving up alongside of him. And do you have any indication now that you want to go three wide right here, Ron? Well, uh, there was a horse, if you notice, behind me. There's a horse that's gone three wide before me. So I, I'd like to wait it a little longer, but at, th at this point I almost had to go because I was going to get locked in second over, and that's, and that's not good. Uh-huh. Do you feel you have Walter collared right here? Yeah, I, I knew I had a little pace left. He was struggling a little bit through this turn, but uh, I thought with the, with the kind of break that I got and the, and the tough trip that Walter's horse got, I thought I could get him in a stretch. All right, right here you drive alongside of him. You see Walter working on his, and you're just about to get into yours now, Ron, and, and uh, just maybe one crack right there just to clear him. Yeah, he's got an open bridle, and I can show him the whip, and uh, he usually responds to that a lot better than, than trying to hit him with a whip. All right, and uh, welcome uh, back to Maywood Park, and we hope you had a great vacation. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. All right, ladies and gentlemen, driver Ronnie Marsh.